Hey everyone, welcome to Dev Tips. This is a comment o rama episode where we're going to talk, uh, talk about comments. So the Dev Tips family is, is growing quite nicely and a lot of the people who watch the videos are commenting down below and that is awesome. It's so cool and I try my hardest to respond to pretty much every comment if I can. Some of them I can't, like there's no reply button. I don't, I don't even understand that. But I realized the other day that not everybody who watches the videos are maybe looking at all the comments and, and receiving the value that you guys are adding by contributing your comments, your insights, your questions to the videos. And so what I wanted to do was kind of make a few of these videos to publicly recognize a few of the comments that are made on the videos. To start, I've got a question by Rusty Games. Rusty asks, where do you go to get your website hosted and buy your domains? Okay, so that's a good question. I, I'm traditionally less of a server kind of database-y guy than, um, than you might expect. I, I don't really like to deal with just large datas uh, other than making them pretty. So, um, I mean, very simply put, I, I get my domains like any other normal human at godaddy.com. And up until recently, I've been using Media Temple as my server. Just, I mean, it's really simple to host a few WordPress sites and just things like that. Uh, but I quit. I did quit uh, Media Temple recently in favor of using uh, GitHub's pages and using Jekyll like, like I described in, in the, the video that was on PHP Academy a little while ago. So if you use a Jekyll blog, uh, you can host the site and have your own URL on GitHub pages. It's free and you get to take advantage of GitHub's um, version control. So. That's really awesome. Uh, I'm also like for the for the sites that do need databases and stuff. Um, I've messed around with Heroku a little bit, and uh, I still need a little bit of help from my friends to get that running and everything running as well. But they also have a free solution for little websites that don't get a lot of traffic. And I just have a few things that like like little games or little weird things that, that don't get a lot of traffic. But I used to uh, I could use a, a, a service like Heroku for that. Okay, that's, so that's my answer, kind of off the cuff, in the middle of morning traffic. Um, I'm sure it's not the best answer ever, so what I want to do is turn this back to you guys that watch the videos. Uh, what do you use to host your websites and register your domains? I'm sure you got a lot better answers than I do, so leave them in the comments down below and we'll continue the discussion there. Thanks a lot guys, have a good day and keep on hacking. Oh, and one more thing. I'm also considering doing like a Dev Tips live show where we hang out, you know, do a Google Hangout. I'll go over a few code examples and we can just answer questions and hang out for a little bit. Uh, if you're into that, if that sounds like something you'd like to participate in, hit me up on Twitter at Dev Tips Show and we can just arrange a time for that, see, see what's good for everybody. All right, we'll see you on Monday.